to run and uh, it's not the, not the best results but definitely not the worst so, you know to, to come from two downs it, it shows the character the Ireland team has coming into vital qualifying games coming up yeah absolutely I mean I think when you're two nil down and two all result is a good result you yeah. know um, for a while there we could have gone three down and or maybe even four first half then having said that when we were one nil down we could have equalised late just before half time with a couple of really really good chances you know so I'm happy enough with the result considering we were two nil down before the game I was hoping we might get the win but you know you have to be happy with a two all result when you're chasing the game for, for long periods of time how important is it going to be to have uh, the likes you know Sarah Lawler or Neil Gorman back uh, when it comes to actual competitive games? Well, I mean, there's four potentially starting eleven yeah. players missing tonight. You Shannon Smith also. You need Fahey, Don't forget big players, a lot of experience. You know, so it'd be important to have everybody fit and, and, and ready for September. You know, so but it's good that we've competition for places now. And I was able to have a good look at some of the young players tonight from our own league. You know, and, and I think Dora Gorman was outstanding. Um, you know, one or two players. Sean Cook is doing really really well. To Rachel Graham, while maybe didn't show it tonight, has yeah. done very well in training and maybe just needs a bit more experience with us, you know. And how important is it, you know, games like this to, to get a look at the, those younger players who are g coming into the squad and you're going to have to sort of bleed them in quickly? It's very important when I only have one game between now and yeah. qualifying the qualifying campaign starting in September, you know, so, I mean, even before the game, regardless of the result at halftime or the score at halftime or how players had played, I was making two or three changes anyway, you know, those yeah. three changes were sort of in my mind that I was making. Um, so it's really important. You could you could try to stick with your strongest 11, but should that's not doing anyone any good and yeah. particularly at this moment in time your strongest 11 mightn't be your fittest 11 either because of the, the season being off season at the moment here at home you know all right thanks very much Jeff. denise uh, to come from 2-0 down it shows the, the character the ireland national team has yeah and um, the girls absolutely excellent uh, it was a tough first half for us you know we weren't expecting it and they just came right at us but um yeah, in the second half we went out and lifted the girls went out and lifted the tempo and they passed the ball and they were more confident getting on the ball. So um yeah, in the end it was a great result for us. We had a few chances that we actually missed. So we could have went and won the game, yeah. but uh, in the end, coming from 2-0 up to 2-all, you've got to be happy with that result, so yeah. You're, you're still obviously quite young yourself, but you're turning yourself into a bit of an international veteran. Um, uh, I'd say that was probably one of the better crowds you've played in as, as an Ireland player. Um, yeah, definitely. There was a great uh, crowd there. It was about 1,500, was it? Yeah, yeah. 1,500, yeah. 25th. Yeah, the most I played it now was in America, but to be at home and get that crowd is absolutely yeah. fantastic. And it was the same down in Cork. There was 2,500 against France. Yeah. And that was, even, that was a big occasion as well, but um, yeah, it's excellent to get your own crowd uh, behind you and it just gives you a better buzz when you're at home from being away. Yeah. Um, w would you say it's, sort of, it's difficult to play in an international game uh, when the, the, the league season ended so long ago for you? Is, is it tough to get back into the, the sort of the style of play that, that inter and the fitness international football needs? Yeah, it is tough, but um, you know that's up to yourself. You're an international player, you've got to stay fit yeah. and keep on, top, keep on top of it. So, um, but it is tough getting back into it. But, um, with a break and then I'm going off my I'm going off my game with no training or anything, but um, I'm just you know training with club teams and stuff just to try to keep fit. So um, I'll get there in the end and hopefully I I well I've no choice but I will build my uh, fitness up and um, hopefully keep my place in the starting eleven. Yeah. And having played so many games for Ireland, is it, are you going to be staying in the in the, the women's league with, with Cork or uh, have you any other um, attractive offers to go abroad? Yeah, I have a few options, but um, I'm just going to hold tight a minute and I'm not going to um, make any decisions too quickly. So um, I'm hoping to go away somewhere. I just want to go and experience a, a, in a different place and you know a new level. No disrespect to the national yeah. league; it is a great league and. Um, great players and the level is quite good but I just want to go on and have a bit of independence myself and try somewhere else so hopefully but I'm, I don't know what I'm doing yet go on name drop us some of the clubs that are interested <laughs> <laughs> give us the scoop come on um, you know you want to Bristol have been in touch and Glasgow City so there are two Going options to the UK yeah the UK and Scotland as well Glasgow City just so. like one of the men's players <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about it, but um, I'm going to hold tight on it, and I'm going to see. Yeah. All right, bro, it was nice to speak to you again. Thanks, Emma. Emma Byrne, uh, captain in Ireland, and a pretty great crowd tonight, and a good comeback, isn't it? Yeah, I thought the crowd was brilliant. Uh, the last time we played here, we didn't have half the crowd, and I think it makes a huge difference to us, because we're under a bit of pressure to perform for them more than anything, and I don't think we did that the first half. Um, in fact, we were pretty awful the first half. I think every one of us will admit that. So I was glad the girls redeemed themselves and I redeemed myself a little bit in the second yeah. half and we came back and I think uh, that's what we need to focus on. The 2-0 the down and sort of coming back to get the two goals, it really does show the character that the national team has, especially going into important qualifiers in September. Yeah, was, there's never any doubt of our character. Um, that's one thing I'll always say, we wear a heart in our sleeves. Yeah. And 
and there's always a great chance we can come back but you know it's just disappointing the two goals we've conceded and they're they're easily stoppable and the little mistakes here and there that we all need to take away and have a think about which we will do and you've a lot of players in the team who play in the, the national league here and um, their season ended a long time ago do you think that maybe contributed to maybe the, the sluggish start maybe oh yeah definitely but we're always going to have these problems and we yeah. can't keep complaining about times the season times of games because when they're out season we're in season yeah, and vice versa so it's up to every one of us as an individual to keep on top and come back sharp and fit and across the water for yourself now you're gonna to have to sort of like it was a, a shaky start to the season uh, for for yourself but you're starting to maybe settle the ship a bit yeah I mean it's tough because uh, usually I I do nothing I have a fag on in goal <laughs> normally but um I've been asked I've been called upon a good bit and probably need to get myself a little bit sharper and I think it uh, helps coming in with the Irish team. Jer is a great yeah. goalkeeping coach and I feel a lot fitter and sharper after this week alone so it's always a bonus. And finally, can I just ask you, how confident uh, are, you, are, you get, are you getting a bit of confidence up now for the, the qualifiers in September? Um, yeah, definitely. And the more games, obviously, the better we are. But unfortunately, the FAI's funding has dropped dramatically and yeah. we can't afford to play. But, you know, this will be the only game we get to play. We're trying to get um, funding together for another friendly, which would be massive for us. But, you know, we just have to take that and accept that and just kind of work individually and hope we'll get better ourselves. And actually, you know, could I just ask, you know, um, like, like coming into, you know, playing in the likes of Tala, it's, it's something else, isn't it? Especially tonight, this is like. great. I mean, we trained on this yesterday and I just couldn't get over the pitch yeah. it was it's immaculate it's unbelievable condition and um, you know I wasn't happy that they watered it so much yeah. the ball was slippery but never mind that's for another time but it was great and the crowd was brilliant it's probably the best crowd we've had in a long time and it really lifts us and I think that's what con contributed in the second half all right well thanks very much it's a pleasure Fiona, uh, two goals and to come back from 2-0 down is definitely, it shows the, the character the Irish team has, especially now you've got these big qualifiers in September and no more matches until then. Yeah, um, I was delighted with the character that we showed and um, to come back from 2-0 really shows uh, resilience and uh, I think we have a lot of promise coming up for the games in September. You've played in, in front of some, some great crowds, but for, for Ireland that's probably one of the better ones you'll, you'll see. Yeah, this was a great crowd out here tonight. I'd say the weather helped also. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, and the exams just finished today for most people. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> well, so everyone... I still have exams tomorrow, but shit, that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, too bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd say everyone was up for a good game, yeah. and I think that's what they got this evening. Um, you know, it, it must be difficult to, to have to like come back after your, your injury, and you don't have any more international games until the qualifiers start, whereas other countries might have a, a bit more chance to prepare. Yeah, um, I'd say there's... Um, Quite a bit of um, quite a bit of investment from a lot of other countries, and I think the FAI is trying to step up the game as well. So all you can really do is just take advantage of this game we have here, and then um, do your best on your club level to yeah. prepare for September. You know, you mentioned club level. Like, do you think that maybe the fact that there was so many players in the starting eleven who play in the national league here, which ended in what April, so that they would be maybe it would have contributed to the slugger start. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to come into a game when you're in the off-season, but um, I think after we knocked the rust yeah. off there, after the first 25 minutes, we really dug really in. We really came into it. We did, yeah. Um, and, and finally, Joe, can I just ask you, um, what, what do you make of the whole situation where, you know, in, in women's soccer here in Ireland, we get a lot of players coming in from the, the National League, whereas in the men's, you wouldn't get Trapatoni anywhere near any of the Irish grounds. Yeah. Do you think it's really important to have sort of domestic players playing for the international team? Yeah, it is. I mean, you have to bring in the local talent and get the kids the community yeah. involved into the game and um, I think that you have to build from the bottom I'd say maybe 20, 30 years ago there was more domestic players on the yeah, men's side but it's just a little bit slower in the women's game so I'm happy with yeah. it and I'm happy with the talent that the National League has brought to, to the senior level Alright, well thanks very much, it's a pleasure